We want to go take a look at the school before we go over there. Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Paparo has a huge mission ahead of him. Defeat the Taliban here in Nuristan and get this remote province under Afghan government control. He spent the last four months training for this moment. A former Navy pilot, he leads a team of soldiers, sailors, airmen and civilians to a remote village using tactics just learned at U.S. War College. That bullets alone won't beat the Taliban. Smooth. This small team must offer more. You know, when others came through here, they came in in convoys of 60. You know, we come in in convoys of about uh, 10 or 12. And so uh, our strongest defense is goodwill. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Look nice, yeah. Wonderful job. Paparo's team checked construction of a U.S.-funded school for 100 girls. Beautiful. And when, when are you going to put the glass in? They make sure the $40,000 spent isn't wasted. Across the country, the Taliban are destroying U.S.-funded schools. But here, the headmaster wants the building. He says he'll keep the Taliban out of town. There are no Taliban here, he says. We won't let them come to town and burn our school. It's what Paparo's training is all about. Help out the community, win support and make sure the Taliban are unwelcome. And it's not just schools that are being built. There are hydroelectric projects to bring electricity to remote areas. There are water projects to irrigate farmers' fields. And perhaps the highest priority here is to improve the network of roads so there's better communications between the remote villages. Give it away so it won't disrupt the children. Paparo says so far at least the strategy is proving his war college teachers correct. Six months ago, the Taliban had some, had some influence here. Uh, if, they, if they didn't, I wouldn't say that they ruled the place, but they had a presence here uh, and they attacked here. But it's far from fooled the Taliban are gone. His assessment, the Taliban have moved away from reconstruction and are likely recruiting fighters deeper in the mountains closer to the border with Pakistan. When there are areas with disaffected men, you, you know, the Taliban offer them education uh, either across the border or in, in, in some of their madrasas, and, uh, and they go off and do that, and that's how they recruit fighters. Paparo takes a helicopter ride through spectacular valleys to survey the next phase of his mission. Follow the Taliban up into the mountains and bring Afghan government control to the whole province. Ambush country, obviously. You can see a lot of terrain that would be, uh, that would be conducive to an enemy ambush. No army has ever fully controlled these valleys. If Paparo's war college training is right, goodwill, millions of dollars spent on popular reconstruction projects and military might may turn a corner that has so far proved impossible. He's giving it his best shot, but he knows it's the toughest application of classroom theory he's ever likely to face. Nick Robertson, CNN, Nuristan, Afghanistan.